Hey, what's up, guys? This is the interesting JavaScript library of the week series. I'm Nitej, and in this seventh episode, I will show you a JS library which can be used to access the system clipboard when we want to do stuff like cut and copy of textual data from our web applications. That library is clipboard.js. Implementing copying of text into clipboard is somewhat complicated and it is better to rely upon a library which is already tested and will work on all the major browsers without any issues. Clipboard.js is just that library and its download size is also very less so it will not be much of a strain on the user's internet bandwidth especially when it comes to them accessing on their mobile devices. Clipboard.js can be installed for our applications in one of three ways. We can either download it using npm by executing the command npm install clipboard or we can get the library by using a CDN URL. There are quite a few of them for clipboard.js listed on this page. We can also download the minified JavaScript file and then place it into the folder where we keep our other third-party JavaScript plugins. Using clipboard.js is easy. First, install it and then based on your requirements, you can add attributes to HTML controls to set up the clipboard action and clipboard target. The clipboard action will specify if we want to copy or cut the text and clipboard target is the input text control from where we want to copy or cut the textual content. So the input text control will act as a source for the text content. So to do that, first we will need an input control, which is this one. This is a text input and there is a static value which is being set into it. Now let's add a button which when clicked will copy whatever textual value is set within this input. We can specify from which input the button click is going to copy the text and that can be done by providing the attribute clipboard target. The value of this clipboard target attribute is going to be the ID of the input from where we want to copy the text. When we want to copy the text content of any input control, then we don't really need to provide this clipboard action attribute. So omitting this attribute will also work just fine. But we will always need to provide this clipboard target attribute and its value. There are a couple more things that we need to do over here and the first is to fetch the reference of the minified clipboard.js library. This can be done by getting it from a CDN URL or maybe downloading it and then placing the JavaScript file into the distribution folder of this application. The last thing that we need to do is to provide a script element and then within this script element, we need to execute a statement in which we need to initialize a new object of clipboard.js library by calling its constructor and then providing the argument of the ID of the button for which we want to implement the click event to copy the text from the input control. Alright, so this is the page that we have created and now let's just click on this button, copy text. I'm just going to press Ctrl V within this empty notepad file and there we go, this text has been copied. We can also implement the text cut feature using this library and that can be done by using the attribute data clipboard action and then setting its value as cut. We will also need to initialize a new clipboard.js object by calling its constructor which is clipboard.js and then providing the id of the button which is being used to cut the text from the input. Now let's click on this cut text button. You can see that the text has been removed from this input. When I am pressing Ctrl V in this notepad, then you can see that the text which was cut from this input is being pasted over here. We can also directly copy a specific piece of text when we don't want to copy an input from the input control. This can be done by using the attribute clipboard text. To do that, we can simply add a button with the attribute clipboard text and the value which is being set for this attribute is going to be copied whenever we will click on this button. And then let's add another statement to initialize a new clipboard.js object by providing the ID of this button which is btn copy fixed. Now let's just click on this button and let's just paste the contents. Clipboard.js actions can also be implemented using JavaScript code by specifying the function and the text which needs to be copied. So if we were to use these two controls, the input control and the button to implement the text copying feature on the click of this button without the use of these attributes, then we can do that by using only JavaScript code also because sometimes we have to provide this functionality on the fly for newer controls which are generated like for example in a modal dialog. 
To do that, we can provide the target directly when we are creating a new clipboard.js object. So I'm just going to comment out this first line and then let's create a new clipboard.js object by first providing the ID of the button for which we want to implement the copy function. And then we need to provide another object as an argument within we will provide the attribute target and its value which is going to be a function. From this function, we need to return the input control from which we need to copy the text content. Clipboard.js will automatically copy the text contents of this input and it will copy it into the clipboard which we can then paste anywhere that we want. There is some more stuff which you can do with Clipboard.js like destroying events which we have created, binding to the success and error callbacks after we cut or copy the text etc. So I would suggest you to go and take a look at its github page to learn more about it and maybe try to create some examples on your own or start using it in your project to replace your existing legacy text copy code which you think is giving trouble every now and then. And that would be everything that this video has to offer. Thank you so much for watching it. If you like the video then please place a thumbs up on it. Also subscribe to the Code First channel for more such videos. I am Nitesh and I will see you next time. Till then have a great day.